Jimmy K here, Metal Voice. Look at this. The Metal Voice shirts are now on sale. Just go to the video description to find out on how you can purchase one. Metal! Welcome to the Piranha Bar today in Montreal, Canada. The one and only Mr. Steve Grimmett. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Steve, it's been a year since you last been here, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so what's gone on, what has been going on since that year? I can tell you one thing, it's at the gates, right? The new yeah. album. Yeah, the new album is uh, completed now and uh, it's being released on the 11th of October of this year. Right. So I had the privilege of listening to the album. Yes. Loved it. It's great. It's, Thank you. It's, but I want you to describe it. I mean, there's a couple of tracks, and tell me if I'm wrong in regards to the lyrical content. Mm -hmm. At the gates, you're in Ecuador. You've yep. just lost your leg. Yep, yeah, you got it. Yeah, pretty much because uh, I was very, very close to dying, yeah. and uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what it is. That's what it's about. You know, there's there's, there's lyrics uh, about the hanging tree. Well, that's you know where they hang all the blood and and the, and all the drugs and stuff. Uh, it was quite full at one point. <laughs> so yeah. it's like yeah. So it's all it's all that you know and uh, you know and as I'm speaking to you now, I'm remembering things that I didn't remember when I wrote the song. You know, so yeah, it's uh, it was something else really. Um, uh, you know what I like about I like to talk about the lyrics of the songs and the context because when people pick up the album it means that much more right yeah, yeah absolutely right? yeah now venom yes. and i mean i'm thinking i don't know maybe rca maybe money owed to you or what is it no it's not actually it's about somebody who really pissed me off um and uh has got mental issues that need to that, you know they need to clear up just to live a normal life basically and uh, and that's what that's about all right fair enough what lies beneath i couldn't i, I couldn't figure that one out um to be quite honest i, I need to backtrack here a bit uh, i wrote six of the songs on the album and uh i ran out of steam i ran i, I writer's block okay, all right. and uh, so i had to get the other guys to stand in and help me out and that was one of them so okay. um I'm not quite sure what it what it's about. It's something beneath. There's yes. something lies beneath. Yes, it's probably it's you know knowing knowing the two guys that wrote it, Mark Pullen and Ian Nash wrote that. Okay. I, I guess that it will still be connected to me and losing my leg. So no. okay, all right. In that context, the hand that rocks is that one of yours or one? No, of it's one of theirs, unfortunately. So some, but, uh, do, you, do you know what it's about? Nope. <laughs> Well, it's open to interpretation. We'll say. Yeah, 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 yeah. You make up your mind. Knock at the door. Uh, well, again, that's I, I did write that one. Um, that's again about you know knocking on the door of uh, of either heaven or hell, and me being at the point where I was you know 24 hours from death, and. Uh, that's basically what it's about, you know. I mean, read the lyrics, interpret it how you wish, you know. And uh, but you'll, uh, that's it, you Actually, know. You know what I like, and Ian, Ian. Ian. What's what lies beneath the belt? <laughs> uh, wouldn't you like to know? Uh, <laughs> Look at the camera, though. Uh, oh, 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 we're actually on, are we? <laughs> Off me. What lies beneath? Um, have you been listening to the lyrics, have you? Yes, yes. yes. And now we're trying to figure out yes. what... It's just about... It's about darkness. It's about... Uh, something dragging you down. There's a weight on you. It's basically just that. You know, okay. Like I am to him yeah. now. You know. yeah, that's where the inspiration came from. By the way, I'm digging the shirt. I'm digging the shirt. Yeah, yeah, I'm see. digging the shirt. Fan of the show. That's right. Can that's I go right. now? No. <laughs> yes, no, 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 no. Hand that rocks the cradle. Hand that rocks the cradle. Come back. Uh, okay. But you got to look at the camera though when you're doing yeah, it. Yeah. Hand that rocks the cradle is is it's about your mum, really. Oh, that's nice. That's what it's all about. It's about your mum. It's uh. It's, it's explaining how that influence will pull you and then from the mother sort of whole concept we then moved on to 
the nanny state concept. So. Okay, that's very deep. Yes. That's very deep. And, and very <laughs> just now. You know what I like about this? It is a it is a band effort. No, it's a band effort. It is. It's, it's a band effort, is. right? It's not it really Steve Grimmett. Uh, it's a guys, band effort. These guys stepped in when I couldn't produce the goods. You know? That's all right. That's all right. Because you know, I, I, I'll tell you now. I, I, I've suffered quite badly with mental issues after after losing my leg. I got post-traumatic stress disorder. That's still ongoing. And then uh, nearly a year ago, I lost my brother, and and that just put me in a in a downward spiral. And I've been suffering quite a bit since. I have uh, been to all sorts of counselling to help out, which has helped out. I've got to say, because I don't think I'd be able to be here if if I hadn't. But uh, yeah, so so yeah. That's, Are that's there any songs on this album about your brother? No, no. Maybe the next one, because he he died actually after uh, after we'd written it all. So, uh, but there will be. I'm sure there will be. Yeah, I know you're very close to your brother. You told us. Yeah, very very close to my brother. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, yes, I will definitely do that. All right, good, good. And which goes to Rush. Now, I know it's not the band Rush. Yeah. No, but, it's not. You know, I mean, all the us Canadian fans are like, what is it about Rush? No, it's not. I, I think that's, because that's another one that the guys wrote. wrote. Uh, I think it's about metal and being and doing what we do best, but also what you do best, you know? So that's what it's about. All right, all right. Only when I sleep. Ah, that's one of yours. That's I, one I, of that mine. Sounds like one of yours. This, this, this is actually a resurrected song that that we did well back in the day, in Lion's Heart, and oh, okay. I loved the song, and and the album that we did really slipped through the cracks, and it was a, such a shame, and that was a great song. So, um, it's 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 about. Uh, how you well, seeing yourself when you sleep and what's been happening to you and uh, and what is and what could happen to you it's about anxiety guess i guess you know out of body so, experience yeah somewhat. kind of yeah okay, yeah, okay, yeah yeah, right, yeah. Right. Uh, let's see what else we got here okay line them up I, i'm gonna take a guess Go i'm gonna take a guess you show up at a town line them up right yep line all them right. up come on in breakneck speed all right i'm taking another guess Go on, take another guess good you like to drive fast on the road yeah, it's kind yeah, of like yeah, a that's, metal that's driving what, it's i mean that's it's like living life at a breakneck speed and that's, that's a that's great it. song by yeah, the way. yeah 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 it's a real rocker uh under the hammer oh wait a second is this back to the leg no uh it's <sighs> It, it, it's about you know life, what life deals with, you, deals you, and basically you know you're always under the hammer for something. No, I got you. Know? you. All right, shadow in the dark. Again, that's a, that's like a, a deep dark. Um, what would it be? It, 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 it dreams, deep dark dreams, and and how that haunts you kind of thing and what do you think the, the difference between so all those people out there who haven't heard the album yeah what do you think the musical direction is this time around than on the last album i could tell you this but i want you to say it. okay we've it's been recorded the, the same way that we always do and it's 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 live if you like so the drums that you hear are the drums that we actually recorded, set up and recorded. Guitar is as well, that's all through an amp and, and mic'd up. Bass is the same uh, and vocals, well, that's, that's just a, a given really, but it's recorded what I call old school. Good. And uh, and that's what the album is. We've gone back. At, we've gone. To, we, it's not Grim Reaper as Grim Reaper used to be, but it's it is with a modern twist, as in the sound of the songs and how we've produced those songs, rather than going back to what we did with Walking in the Shadows. You know, because that was kind of a, a copy of of Grim Reaper. But I, I find time. this album a lot more heavier. Yeah, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot more heavier, and it kind of branches out a little more than yeah. the last. Yeah, it does. Yeah, absolutely, and that was intentional, you know, because we can't stick. The band's got to grow. Uh, it was, it's taken nearly 35 years to grow, but you know, it, it's it, it's something that was in us, and I think probably the next album will probably branch out a, li a little bit more. But it it obviously will stay heavy. All right. So okay. All right. Now a treat for everybody out there. All right. Here we go. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're going old school now. Now we're going real old school. Oh, yeah. All right, so I brought this. As I, I told you this before, I bought this album when it first came out based solely on the cover, yep. on the artwork. Now, I want you to go down memory lane. Yep. Memory lane. When you're recording this album, I probably asked you this question so many times, but See You in Hell, the final scream in See You in Hell, was it a one take? Did you have to do it multiple times? Because that is the money scream. Yeah. That is the money, that makes the whole album and probably made your whole career yeah. that scream. It was all done live. Uh, it was recorded in four days. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how long it took, took uh, Daryl Johnson to mix it, but it was recorded in four days. So uh, there are a lot of mistakes in there. There are a lot of issues in there. And uh, but nobody's ever mentioned it to me. To be fair, but um, that was that was again that was old school because that was everything recorded. You know, no click tracks or anything with so, that. So the see you in hell from the high, you know, from the, yeah. the upper register to the lowers, yeah. the lows. That song itself was that like a one shot take? Or? Yep. Uh, yeah, all of them were one shot them. take. What about a Dead on Arrival? I mean, that that's like really good. Now we're really going up there in, you know, in terms of vocal capabilities. Yep. yep. Um, I mean, what do you remember recording that song? The pros, the cons? Because uh, it, it was so fast it, 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 and the, the stuff was well rehearsed. It was like, right, okay, this is the next song. Let's do it, you know, and, and pretty much it was done and dusted within, I don't know, maybe two takes. Wow, that's pretty uh, so, impressive. Yeah, yeah. so uh, no need, uh, only the vocals were... Uh, we did some overdubbing as well, so that's probably why it took longer than f four... Uh, sorry, four days, uh, because they were just played through. Yeah. And then and then we added vocals afterwards and, that, and add, added uh, extra guitars. What about the show must go on? Yeah. All right, I mean, a lot of people criticize the drum is not... The drumming was the timing issue, yeah. but actually for me, I, I kind of think it's you know it's cool. You know, it's it's, it's live, it's rock and roll. Yeah, uh, yeah you know, it what, is. What do you remember from doing that song? Uh, uh, again, you know, it was it was just like maybe a one or two shot deal. So again, it wasn't it wasn't thought about. I didn't. I can't remember t too much about it because it was just something that we you know it was like being in rehearsals playing these songs to, to, as like, we recorded. Like you jammed them so yeah, much, much that yeah. like man, yeah. we know them back of our hands. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Gonna, yeah. yeah, pretty much. And uh, you know, like I say, it was recorded in four days. We drove up from from Worcestershire to to. to uh, uh, Hull, which was about four hours, maybe five hours, recorded it, stayed in a in a hostel for four days, and that was it. You know, it was done, dusted. See you, goodbye. You know, that's cool. There you go. A little bit of see you in hell. Any other tracks that stand out? That you know, wow, uh, that was great, or that was horrible, or was there anything else that stood out when you recorded this album that you, you know you could have fixed, or I don't know. No, not really. No, it was. It was the thing that stood out is that the Ebony Records was was in a house, and, a, and, a, and not a very big house. I mean, where he had his uh, his uh, desk, the, the desk took up the whole room virtually, and then the front rooms and everything he had uh, for his for the recording areas. You know, and that was it. It was in a house. There you have it, Steve Grimmett, Grim Reaper, ripping through North America. Uh, make sure to check out the dates on uh, Steve Grimmett's Grim Reaper website. I'm not sure what the uh, is dot com. I'm it's uh, uh, Grim Reaper official. Uh, Grim Reaper official uh, dot co dot uk. Sorry. Right. And also, you're a sound engineer. Yes. You can you can produce records. So yes. there are bands out there who want a yes. well respected producer. Yeah. Vetting in the music industry there. There's the matter. Yes, here. yeah, you can get in touch with me with, through that. Uh, I have a uh, Facebook site uh, for Samurai Studio, and uh, you can get in touch with me through that. All right, there you have it. Graham Reaper, Steve Grimmett.